Infinite Sounds is about connection. The connections between people are infinite. Love and kindness are infinite, whether it's the love you have for a close friend or family member, or even the compassion or empathy that we can feel for complete strangers. Connections between people are infinite, just like sounds, be that music or the simple beauty of sounds in nature, like birds singing or the wind in the trees or rain falling. My name is Monica Dunn and I play the bassoon. I grew up in a town in North Auckland called Orewa. Um, I feel really lucky to have grown up there. It's a beautiful beach town, um, the kind of place that people would travel to on the weekends in the summer, you know, oh, should we go to Orewa for the weekend? Um, and, you know, I grew up there like 10 minutes away from the beach. Uh, so, yeah, I feel really lucky to have had that opportunity. Um, I went to Orewa College, uh, which had a pretty good music department. We weren't like, you know, winning competitions and things, but we, we would go to a lot of events like national events and participate and have fun. Um, and I made a lot of friends through that music department and um, I hung out a lot there. Um, so yeah, again, I feel lucky to have gone to that school and gotten to be a part of that music department growing up. I started learning music when I was about nine years old. I started taking piano lessons because my best friend was learning piano and I wanted to do it as well. Uh, and then when we got to high school, we wanted to join the concert band. Um, but there was no piano part and I really wanted to learn a bass instrument. I was actually interested in the double bass at first, but the teacher said I would need to have an instrument at home and at school. And my parents went prepared to buy two double basses. Um, but she said, if you're interested, there's a bassoon here that no one's using. And, um, and at first I was like, what's a bassoon? And she showed it to me and I thought, well, that's really cool. So I took it home and I Googled it to figure out what it was um, and started playing. And and I just fell in love with it. I thought like it was so cool and different, uh, made such a cool sound. And I, I just loved the feeling of playing in the concert band, um, playing with others. And yeah, pretty much from there, um, music was all I wanted to do uh, for my life path. Since I started playing the bassoon when I was 13, music really became my thing. Like when I wasn't in class, you'd always find me in the music department, uh, like playing or singing in a group. It gives me like a sense of joy and fulfillment like nothing else. And I can't personally think of anything better than sharing that joy as a teacher with others. With teaching music, one of the things that I love is seeing young people grow and develop and helping them to to find a creative outlet to express themselves. Uh, you know, music is a universal language. It doesn't matter who you are or where you came from or even whether you play an instrument or not, you can always connect to others through music. Music education is important to me because music is a skill and a passion that you take with you through life. It's always there for you. It can empower you and bring you up when you're feeling down. Um, Music moves people and it's it's actually everywhere in our lives. We choose music for big events like weddings or birthdays or school proms and for smaller things like, like working out or driving, studying. Um, but it's so cool to me to be educated in music and then feel like I can create and contribute to like this whole world of music. And I would just love it if everybody had the opportunity to learn an instrument. Music is a uh, beautiful, raw form of self-expression, whether you're playing, composing, writing your own songs. There's uh, also so much research out there that proves that learning music has so many health benefits, especially for our brains, uh, which is huge for students in terms of their development, especially kids with learning difficulties that may struggle to express themselves through language. And for students, learning an instrument can also be a way for them to find their place, like I did. Like, when I was at school, the music department became my home at school. And I think it's really important for kids to find their niche so that they feel like they have a place where they belong. Music connects people. Um, it doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, what kind of music you listen to. When you find people that are into the same kind of music that you are, it connects you. 
Um, music brings people together it, and it connects us on a spiritual level. You know, you could be at a concert and look across the audience at total strangers and witness them having emotional reactions to the music just like you are. And these are strangers and yet you're connected through something more powerful than we could even put into words. Uh, yeah, music has the ability to connect people like nothing else can. Through music, through teaching and performing, I've learned that I'm capable of learning so much. Um, like, when you look back at your journey as a musician, uh, for me anyway, if I go right back to the beginning, it's it's incredible to stop and think about actually how far I've come. You know, like when I when I was 13 and I first started playing the bassoon, it sounded like a duck in distress. <laughs> like, and and then over the years, like it actually started to sound like music. Um, so seeing that journey and how far I've come, I've realized that I can take that knowledge into any area of my life. Like my my performing journey in particular um, has helped me to grow as a person uh, because it really does take guts to perform in front of others. And for me at least, uh, performance anxiety's never gone away and I don't think that it ever will. Um, you know, when I was in year 11, which I think is like, junior year in the States. Um, I had such bad stage fright during one of my school performances that I had to leave. Um, I started crying in front of my class um, and I had to go outside and I couldn't finish performing the piece. Um, and now I've performed countless times, both solo and with um, even professional groups, but I still get nervous just like I was when I was in year 11. Um, but you know, now I know that I can get through that and learning to face my fears head on like that has made me a stronger person in all areas of life. I've learned that whatever your interest is, whether you play or compose or sing or conduct or listen to music, whether you're into pop or rap or hip hop, or classical, R&B, whatever genre, at its core I found that music has the same purpose for most of us. It's a creative outlet. It allows us to express ourselves when we can't find the words or when there simply aren't words for what we're feeling um, and it really connects us to others. And, and I've also found that if you let it, music is an area where you can be vulnerable and that actually allows you to make stronger, more authentic connections with others. Music should be fun. It should fill you with enjoyment and enrich your life. Um, you know, like when I came to the end of my music degree and I was planning for further study, I really had to get real with myself because I realized that I actually wasn't very happy. Um, I realized that the majority of my life was dedicated to music but I wasn't enjoying it anymore like I used to. I, I didn't practice because I loved to and I wanted to. I practiced because I was obligated to. Um, it, it became about being technically the best so that I could win auditions. Uh, and I, I, I realized that I lost the essence of why I loved and chose music in the first place. Uh, so I decided to change my path and went into teaching. And now I play for myself. I play because I love it and I want to, not because I feel forced to by external pressures. Um, so yeah, music should be fun, so I would say to check in with yourself from time to time and make sure that it still is. Um, and the other piece of advice that I would have is to live for yourself, like no one else knows what is best for your life and your well-being better than you do. And for years um, I was living my life for others with no idea that I was even doing that. I made decisions and choices that would please others and fulfill others' expectations patience of me um, whereas now I, I think I live for myself if I don't want to do something I say no I check in with myself constantly and I ask myself why am I actually doing the things I'm doing am I doing it for me or am I actually just trying to please others um, it sounds cliche but life is short so give yourself permission to be happy